Yes, that's How do you say yarrows? Welcome to How Do You Say Yarrows? How do you say yarrows? <laughs> How do you say yarrows? It'll be all the fun in the world. Welcome to How Do You Say Yarrows? We are stuck on the highway and we're behind my favorite vehicle, a Tesla. Granted, there are many types of Tesla, but let's go with favorite brand. How about that? And another Tesla on the side of the road. This little kid's getting food. Uh -huh. It's a Tesla day for us all. But how are you doing, Gabby? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Thank you for joining our, our day today. We are talking about... We're doing a topic I came on to. It's uh, a thought that I've had recently. Predictions for the rest of 2021. So in context here, we are filming this mid-August. So we're really looking September, October, November, and December. In the next four months, right. what are some predictions? We're looking at two to three each here. And I'll start off with one because okay. it was my idea and we're doing this on the fly, if you will. All right, prediction, prediction 2021. Prediction, 2021. Um, so we saw in 2020, in early 2021, so many people become outdoorsy by nature of like, you know, COVID and so many things being shut down indoors. You got to do things outdoors if you, you know, want to gather with people or you want more certainty. Yeah. My prediction is the outdoor industry is going to have a major recession come this year because everybody will buy indoor things now that people feel better being indoors. So like places like REI, Dick's, Easter Mountain Sports, all those kayaks and canoes. I could see a huge amount of returns, see people canceling memberships to things like this, and all, or people just trying to sell it at an, a largely reduced price because they realize, actually, I don't like doing it this much. It was only because I had no other options that I was willing to get into this hobby. Wow. So my thought is we're going to see, if on the opposite side in this, if you are, like, I actually love hiking. I, I liked it before I started this whole COVID thing. I liked it after this whole COVID mm -hmm. thing. My thought is if you are a person that is, like, say, looking for a kayak in the next couple of months, if you're looking for um, snowboarding. Oh, you get it on sale? I think you're going to see a glut this year of where people are going to realize, I'm never doing this again. I did this because I was stir crazy. Wow. I think we're going to be able to get some good prices on those types of things. Oh, that would be great for us. Yeah, that would be really nice, actually. Yeah. We're in, we're in the business for a new kayak. That's we are. Great. Yeah, yeah. I, if you guys are familiar in our previous podcast, I got a hold of my kayak. <laughs> yes. That's really good news. Yeah. Okay, I like that That, that is my bold prediction here. And wow. we want to also cater... Some of these predictions might be a little bit more ridiculous as well. Oh, yeah. They're totally ridiculous. Yeah. We don't know what we're talking the, about. The point of these are predictions. Yeah. Uh, and also, the weirder the prediction, the better prediction. All right. So, I kind of have a sad prediction then. Um, wah, wah, wah. I think that we are going to see some problems in the pet world. Oh, gosh. What are the problems in the pet world? I think that people are going to be looking to get rid of their pets in Ooh. a real way. It's because, real. Yeah, because I think people, a lot of people got pets rather impulsively. Okay. Dogs in particular. Aww. And I don't know if everyone got the pet think, if thinking of, you know, what their life will be like when, you know, they're working back in person or mm. everything returns to quote unquote normal and that there may be some regrets with these pets. I can see that. I think Hashtag it's a... Hashtag regret pet. Oh, oh, very nice. Yo, good rhyme. Thank sad you. sad rhyme, but good rhyme. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I hope that's not the case. And I also am not speaking from personal experience. I don't, I'm not thinking of anyone particular that I know that would actually fit this. Yeah. So it's very not based in reality. I just think in general, we know that there was a huge boom in people getting pets and you know, in theory, given the amount of people that just grabbed a pet, they were not all planning to do that in regular world. So now mm. that things will be reverting back, are they really going to be prepared and able to do this when they start working back in person, which is, you know, what is going to happen for a lot of jobs. Ooh. So we'll see, you know, like going, like working in person or like now their children are no longer home, you yep. know, I think virtual. it's reasonable. So what's that going to look like? I, I do think that, uh, although I guess on the flip, another version of this could be rather than actually giving their pets back or selling their pets, it could just be that you Euthanizing them? No. <laughs> I was going to say this is going to be a huge increase in uh, the business for dog hotels. Oh, that'd be fun. And, yeah. you know, 
doggy walkers and people who are taking care of dogs, your business is about to get huge. Oh, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. This is a good year to be in the dog walking game right yes, here. Yes, yes. A I lot of so. market share returning. Yes, okay. All right, all right. Let's get another. Okay, another yeah, yeah. I've got uh, secondary prediction right okay, here. Okay, okay. That, um, and this is, I think, I don't feel like it's a bold prediction, but I think it's a real prediction okay. that um, destination Thanksgivings this year are going to hit through the roof. Ooh. Now, and I'm not necessarily just talking about like, yo, I'm going to visit my great grandma in Idaho. Okay. I don't have a great grandma in Idaho, nope. but I think people are going to more than usual use Thanksgiving as an escape and vacation. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I, I want to say that I think there's a chance of this. This is more of an outlier. I'm not going to say, I like it. but I think that this could be a year of like, Hey, we've got all of these things, especially if you're in northern states. Obviously, we're in the United States filming this. But I think if you're northern, hey, we want to do something with family. Yeah. We want to be outdoors. So oh. thinking like, hey, are we going to go to Disney for Thanksgiving? Are we going to go to Texas? Right. Are we going to go to a southern place maybe where it's warmer and we feel safer being outdoors, especially if we get a COVID resurgence? Got it. So that Got would be it. my thought. Personally, I would like to go back to Disney. Uh, as Gabby and I have made abundantly clear, Disney and COVID was amazing. It was. Yeah, yeah. The we shorter, yeah, shorter lines, park capacity limits. Yep. Honestly, give me a pandemic any day during uh, when I'm going to co Disney. It was the wonderful. It was awesome. I, I wouldn't say necessarily. We don't want another pandemic, but yes, it yes, was. Yes. There were a lot of wonderful things about it. Disney did a great job, and we're very thankful that we got to go during that time. It was a unique experience. It was a unique experience, and that's also not making life for many of the people who have truly suffered during COVID. Uh, we totally get that too. Yes. We are just. Uh, trying to seize a benefit, one of the few benefits that have arisen from this moment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that is a very good prediction. I, I think you might be right on that. And it also might be because other people, maybe people, since things were changing so much in the spring when people were trying to plan for their summer, yeah. maybe they weren't able to plan for a summer vacation. So they might take the opportunity Thanksgiving to get that in. I think there's a good chance. they weren't job. able to the summer. Okay, so my next prediction, I think that there will be a big increase in um, families or students choosing to do homeschool. Interesting, okay. Yes, I, I just felt like this at different parts in the school year last year. I really have heard nothing to say that this is true, but I just think that some people found that they really enjoyed parts of virtual instruction it was very hard for a lot of people, but there are some people that I think mm. really did well with it. So yeah. I think those populations really might say going into this year, this is something that we want to do and make that change this year after having had like a year and a half experience of a version of that. So I, I think home, home, uh, you know, homeschooling programs and things like that, like this is your year to lose business basically. Like it's yours yeah. to lose. Okay, you that know, makes... like I think people are ripe for the the program and, and it what you got. So if you if you don't increase, I I think it was yours to lose. That's kinda how I Ooh, feel. I, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I've got a third prediction. Okay. Oh wow, a third one. Bonus prediction. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I've got a third one and this is uh, kinda going online with this. It's another I feel like COVID is highlighting so many of our predictions. Yeah. But here's my reasoning okay. before I state my prediction. I think we're seeing a lot of people that are very cautious and we're hearing about it. People that want to see proof of vaccination, knowing kind of where yeah. people stand on this and all those things. I think there are going to be da uh, uh, dating apps that are going to require at different times or that will like fact check your vaccination. Whoa. So that way, Hey, when you go and say, Hey, I want to go on a date, the app will guarantee and like, it'll be like a paid service. So this is not going to be free, Whoa. but you will upload your vaccination card and they will be able to almost like the blue check on Instagram or Whoa. Twitter. Verify they will give, you? verify the fact that you have actually been vaccinated oh, man. because wow. we know that there are people that are very serious, won't go on a date without that. Wow. I think that could be a real thing. I think you're right. Yeah. Because that it, sounds very real to me. Yeah. So my thought is that's going to become a certain, maybe it could also, it might not be a new dating app. It could be Tinder. It could be hello or any of those. I don't know all the dating apps. I'm you were going to say hello fresh. I was going to say hello fresh. Yes. <laughs> I, it, I love it. In my mind, that's a dating app too, because you get it for a dating. Be oh creative. Oh my gosh. People. That's awesome. But I think a dating app here. <laughs> is going to, I think that if it's not on an app already, I'm not on dating apps these days, happily married, uh -huh. recommended, uh -huh. guys, put a ring on it. <laughs> um, 
But uh, uh, yeah, I want to say that that's a wow. that's either going to become a new dating app or it's going to become a service, just like you could background check people. Okay, okay. If we want to background vaccine check this person. Wow, I think that that's a great that's a great catch. That's I think that will happen very quickly, to the point where that might happen before this podcast even goes out, and everyone with listening will say. Well, what's the big deal that already happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's very real, Adam. I think so. I mean, and this, unfortunately, will be something I probably could make a lot of money off of. Ah. And uh, because I've lost several specific ideas in yeah. the past to this. Yeah. Do you have any more predictions, Gabby? There's zero pressure. We talked about doing two each. I don't. I really don't have anything else. Those were the two I thought just now. So I can't think of anything else. But maybe, guys, let us know your predictions of what you think this year will look like. I honestly don't know. I think that we're all going to need to go into, like, any year. We just got to be prayed up. We got to ask God to really help us. I think there's a lot of things people are very afraid of in a very real way. So, um, you know, I think that we just we just really need to lean into to God for this year. Like yep. any other year, though. I mean, that's any year. So. Uh, I could see that. Ooh, can I make... Um... Oh, one last thought? One last prediction, just because you said this now. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I think that there will be a increase in enrollment for mortician school. or majoring in becoming a mortician. Really? I think there's a chance that, just saying this, because yet again, we've talked about industries. I have always considered being a mortician because I feel like it's a very foolproof industry. Wow. Because even in the worst of times, this is something that happens. So I could see this people thinking this is a run on a safe career. Wow. Because I used to say being a barber was safe, but even that got shut down during COVID. Right, right, right. So I want to say mortician, one of the last foolproof careers. Wow. Okay. Very bleak. That's very, very sad. But also, I mean, good to have that career. So maybe that's very possible. Everybody needs a good mortician in their life. I would like to see if it changes, if after this, you know, there is a change in the to careers that people choose. That would be very cool. Someone, someone do that study and let us know. Now are people, you know, changing the type of careers that they're looking for? I think that's a real after thing. This. I think it's possible for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. let us know your other predictions. Please yeah. comment, like, subscribe, email us at how do you say yours at gmail.com. Yes, it's going to happen no matter what, whether these predictions come true or not. We are yes. going into the fall. Yes. So now's the time. See you later. <laughs>